Hi friends, thank you for joining us today. I am Mrs. Jollis and I am a teddy bear teacher. Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? How are you this morning? I am fine and I hope you are too. I am fine and I hope you are too. I am fine and I hope you are too. I hope you are too this morning. Turn to your neighbor and shake their hand. Turn to your neighbor and shake their hand. Turn to your neighbor and shake their hand. Shake their hand this morning. Good. Friends, do you remember what this is called? A tzedakah box. And here's a song we sing. Penny in the pushka, penny in the pot. We give tzedakah right before Shabbat. Counting all our pennies, nickels, quarters too. Helping one another is what we ought to do. Some for the nice friends that live down the street. Some for the families without enough to eat. Some for the children who learn in special ways. And some for Israel. This is why we say, join me. Penny in the pushka, penny in the pot. We give tzedakah right before Shabbat. Counting all our pennies, nickels, quarters too. Helping one another is what we ought to do. And that's something we like to do. So now it's time to go on a little hunt around your house. See if you can find some change. It might be in a drawer or in a box or in the bottom of a bag, but I bet you can go about around your house and find lots of change. So let's do that first. You can pause this if you want to, and then bring the change back and spill it out. There you go. And you'll see there are all different sizes of coins. There are pennies, they're worth one cent. Then there are nickels, they're a little bigger, they're worth five cents. Then there are dimes, they're very thin and they are worth 10 cents. Then there are quarters, and they're the biggest ones so far and they are worth 25 cents. So by yourself or with someone else in your house, divide all the coins into piles. So first we'll put all the quarters together. And then we can put the dimes together. And then we can put the nickels together. And pennies. So make your piles, your, your piles will probably be bigger than this. After you've made all your piles and counted all your change, you can get a Sadaka box or you can make one. And you can take any jar or any container, decorate it with stickers or crayons or glue, whatever you want, however you want it to look because it's your Sadaka box. And then you can keep this for Shabbat. You can take the money that you collected and count it up and you can decide what you want to do with it. Maybe you want to give it to pets that don't have enough food or don't have enough towels and blankets. Or maybe you want to give it to children who don't have enough toys. Maybe you want to give it to people and families that don't have enough food to eat. I work at a place where I help people who don't have enough food to eat and I give them the food. Um, so if you want, I can take your sadaka to that place. It's called Shepherd's Table. Um, Mrs. Bloom works at a place where they help pets, dogs and cats that need things. So think about who really needs some help and who you want to give your sit up to. Let us know what you do.